Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're beginning a new series on second order differential equations, which will be much more encompassing. In other words, there's a lot of videos in this particular series. But first of all, we want to give you a general overview. Here is what we call a second order linear inhomogeneous differential equation. The general form is that you have a y double prime, which is the second derivative of y, y prime, the first derivative of y, and then you have y, simply the function of y, and each of them are multiplied times a function of t. So we have a function of t times y double prime plus a function of t times y prime plus a function of t times y equals another function of t. Later on we'll see what each of these things mean and how they're applied. But in this case, what we want to show you is that typically this is not the general format of a second order differential equation. If we divide both sides of this equation by this function of t in front of the y double prime, we get something that looks like this. And this is the more general form of a second order inhomogeneous differential equation. Notice we have y double prime plus some function of t times y prime plus some function of t times y equals another function of t. Now sometimes we don't have a function of t on the right side. This is typically what we call the driving function of whatever sets up this equation. If we replace that by a zero, now this equation becomes a homogeneous equation instead of an inhomogeneous equation. So this would be called a second order linear homogeneous differential equation and this is with non-constant coefficients because these are actually functions of t but if we now replace those with simply constants then this equation will be written like this it'll be some constant times y double prime plus some constant times y prime plus another constant times y equals zero so instead of having functions of t in front of the y prime and the y we simply have constants. And so this is now called a second order linear homogeneous differential equation with constants coefficients instead of functions of t. And there's a whole slew of different ways in which they can be written. Let's say for example that the constant b is equal to zero. That would get rid of the middle term right here and we end up with something like this. a y double prime plus c y equals zero. Or if we have a situation where c is equal to zero, then we end up with a y double prime plus b y prime equals zero. And then you can see that depending upon which constant is set equal to zero, or if none of them are equal to zero, you can also end up with something where we have a negative value here and a positive value there, or a positive value here and a negative value there, or both constants are negative. And you'll see that in each case there's some differences in the way we figure out our solutions to these differential equations. And in the case where b is equal to zero, you can see that you can have a plus c or a minus c, and that will make a difference in how you find the solution to that equation. And if c is equal to zero, you end up with a plus b or a negative b, and again, the solutions will look different depending upon the values of these constants, whether or not they're positive or negative, or whether or not they're even missing or not. So you can see that differential equations can take on a lot of different forms. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at each individual type of differential equation with each of these individual forms in order to see how we can systematically find the solutions to these differential equations. There's many, many applications of differential equations, especially second order differential equations. And you'll see how once you get the feel of how everything is laid out and how you can divide between the different kinds of differential equations, you'll find it a lot easier to find the solutions of them because each one of them is coincident with a particular way of finding the solution. And we'll show you how to do that. And there's the start of our first video of a long series of videos on differential equations.